Whenever I'd leave, she'd hand me one and make me promise her I'd be an honest man and a good man, and I always did. And so when she passed, her final gift to me was a wallet with, which had a 10 in it. This bill is what sparked Demir Milkovich to speak out about racial profiling and mistreatment. He says he witnessed and experienced as a salesman at a Winnipeg car dealership. Milkovich has been in the sales industry for nearly 10 years, and he's seen firsthand salespeople stereotype customers consistently. They see somebody come in and based on how they look, they're deciding whether or not they want to help that customer. And he says he saw it in many forms when he worked here at Birchwood Kia in Winnipeg. They would see, you know, you know, a Muslim family step out of the car and then turn around, go back to their desk, pretend to be busy. In another instance... He didn't have any customers at the time, the sales associate. Um, he was completely free. Customers came in and he gave them to me simply because he didn't want to help them because of the color of their skin. And I know that because he, would, he said, like, well, these are your people. Milkovich was born in Bosnia and much of his family is Muslim. It, it just, it bothered me so much because it's just like, they haven't said anything to you yet and you're already judging them. The racial profiling, just one of the issues that kept Milkovich up at night. He alleges he was told to outright lie to customers, tell them a car was available when it wasn't, just to get them through the door. Techniques that didn't sit well with him. Very forthcoming with how I was. I told them that I don't lie or compromise my character and that I'm 100% the big picture. Milkovich says when he was pushed to lie or withhold financing details that could impact a family, his concerns were ignored. They would just full on say I'm being difficult. Like, why are you fighting? This is our process. These are the way that it's done here. His anxiety got so bad, he landed in the hospital around the new year. After he returned from medical leave, he was laid off temporarily during the pandemic. He says he couldn't get answers about when he'd be back. I'm trying to contact them during a temporary layoff to see what's going on. You know, trying to tell them, okay, I'm eager to go back to work. Is there any news? And they're just brushing me off. Saying, We're going to contact you. Keep an eye on the, uh, on the website. That's telling me to keep an eye on their, like, their corporate website for any news. Milkovich says they ultimately told him he'd be permanently laid off due to financial impacts of the pandemic, but hired a new salesman a couple months later. It leaves Milkovich wondering if speaking up about racial profiling played a role in his dismissal. It could be that. Um, it could be the fact that I just, you know, butt heads with management a lot over the fact that I just didn't want to compromise my character. City News spoke to the general manager of the dealership, but he refused to comment when asked to three times. Milkovich says he knows good salespeople and doesn't want to insinuate they're all the same. What he would like is to see a change within the culture. What I want to make sure is that this doesn't happen to anybody else. In Winnipeg, Stephanie Lasuk, City News.